It's Monday, January 17th, a cloudy day here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. South Korea signed a preliminary deal with the United Arab Emirates to sell its mid-range surface-to-air missiles to the Gulf nation. The deal was signed after Moon held talks with the UAE Prime Minister in Dubai on Sunday. Last November, the UAE's Defense Ministry announced that it plans to acquire the missiles known as the AMSIM or Chungung-2. It is a core element of South Korea's multi-layered anti-missile program that employs hit-to-kill technology. Although the details were not revealed, media reports said the deal is worth about 4.1 trillion won or $3.5 billion. HDC Hyundai Development Chairman Chung Mung Gyu offered to step down Monday to take responsibility for the second fatal accident at its construction sites in less than a year. Gwangju, Sago. 피해자, 피, 피해자와 가족 그리고 국민 여러분께 머리 숙여 깊이 사죄드립니다. 경영자로서 책임을 통과하고 현대에서는 물러나지만 대주주로서 책무는 다 책임을 다하겠습니다. The public apology came six days after part of the facade on a 39-story apartment building crumbled to the ground at a construction site in Gwangju, south of Seoul. One worker was found dead Friday, while search operations are still underway for five missing workers. Chung said he's considering completely demolishing and reconstructing the apartments from the start. Hyundai development also came under fire in June last year over a building collapse during demolition in a housing redevelopment project in the same provincial city. At the time, the building fell on a city bus, killing nine passengers. It's been two days since South Korea began administering Pfizer's antiviral COVID-19 treatment pills Paxlovid, and no side effects have been reported so far. From Friday, the government began administering Pfizer's oral COVID-19 pills to patients after the first batch for 21,000 people arrived in the country. Health authorities said nine patients took the drug on the first day, and many of them have shown signs of recovery. Patients with weak immune systems and those aged over 65 are in the priority list. Meanwhile, the country added 3,859 new COVID-19 cases Monday, falling below 4,000 for the first time in a week. But health authorities remained vigilant due to the fast spread of the Omicron variant, which accounted for 26.7% of the domestic virus cases last week. Those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.